Welcome to Candlewick Library. I'm Cheryl and I'm doing the birthday tag. Yesterday, April Fool's Day was my birthday. And so I thought it would be really fun to do the birthday tag created by Tay at Tells and Treats with Tay. So number one, birthday cake, a book with a plot that seems cliche, but you adore it anyway. For this one, I chose Game of Hearts by Joanna Barker. This is a proper romance. I thought that this book was going to be super cheesy and there were there is some cheese in it, but I really enjoyed it. And I felt like it took a trope, the Shadow Mountain Publishing's proper romance type books. And I felt like it made it a lot more fun than those usually are. Number two, party guests, your most anticipated book release for this year. In December, I heard that Rosanna White was going to be putting out a book that is Nutcracker themed. And they just announced that, that that's gonna be released in the fall. And when I had first heard about it, I'd already told my mom that that was gonna be our book pick for our Inklings buddy read. And because I thought it would be really fun to read something Nutcracker themed right before Christmas. So I am looking forward to that book. Number three, birthday presents. A book that surprised you with how much you liked it. I was trying to do new books that I haven't talked about very much on here already, but I have to choose A Study in Scarlet for this by Arthur Conan Doyle because of the fact that I had read this a long time ago and did not like it and decided to read it again and this time I loved it. So that surprised me. The Happy Birthday Song. A book that certainly deserved all of the hype it got. I think I might have talked about this book at least once on here already, but The Guernsey Literary and Potato Pill Pie Society by Mary Ann Schaffer and Annie Barrows. This was a book that I was hearing hype about for so long before I read it. And I think I mentioned on here before that I didn't want to read it because the title sounded like it was going to be a bunch of women sitting around pilling potatoes and talking and I just wasn't that interested in it and I didn't understand why it was getting so much hype. Somebody picked it for the book club I used to do. I fell in love with it. It's still one of my favorite books. It's one of my favorite movies. I absolutely love this story. Number five, Happy Music, a book with some very beautiful and memorable quotes. For this, I chose A City of Bells by Elizabeth Googe. So far, this is my favorite Elizabeth Googe book. I feel like the writing in it is beautiful. I feel like there's a lot of quotes that I could do, but I'm just going to read one of them. It may be difficult in the face of the problem of human suffering to believe in God, he said. But if you destroy God, you do not solve your problem, but merely leave yourself alone with it. Number six, getting older. A book that you read a long time ago, but you think that you would appreciate more if you read it as a mature reader. When I was nine to 10 years old, I have mentioned that my favorite book was Anne of Green Gables, but I also really loved The Westing Game, a book called Who is Bugs Potter, and this book, a fam The Family That Nobody Wanted by Helen Doss. And this is the one that is unusual. It doesn't seem to fit with the other books. Those were all kid books. This is a nonfiction adult book about a family. I'll read the back of this. They had very little money, but a great deal of love to share. Carl and Helen Doss wanted a child. First, they adopted Donnie, and then somehow, without really planning it, they adopted 11 more children. How and why Carl and Helen put together this one family United Nations out of boys and girls nobody else wanted makes a story of love, laughter, and inspiration you'll never forget. I loved this book so much and it's a pretty small book, but I read this over and over again. I even did a book report on it in fourth grade. It really touched my heart as a child and so I'm looking forward to reading this again, hopefully this year. Number seven, Sweet Birthday Memories. A book that kept you incredibly happy during a sad or demanding period of your life. I was not sure what to pick on this. I think that there could be quite a few answers to this. The thing I, that kind of stuck out to me is if you watched my testimony video, I did talk about Passport to Heaven by Michael Wilder. And while I was questioning my faith and having such a hard time with a lot of feelings I was going through, that book, it did, I wouldn't say it necessarily kept me incredibly happy, but it made me realize I wasn't alone. His story resonated with me so much that it really helped me during that time. So. That's probably the answer for this one. Tay, thank you for creating that tag. It was really fun to look forward to doing that around my birthday. I will tag Tay down below as well as write out the prompts so that when it comes to your birthday, if you would like to do this tag, I would love to see it.